I hate to say I told you so, but I kind of told you so. Welcome to another edition of Show and Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Now, I'm not trying to be cocky about the situation. As a matter of fact, I wish I was wrong. But when I said the severity, the seriousness of this injury, and there's more to this Daniel Bryan thing than meets the eye, and the fact that he was reportedly telling people that he was feeling fine, then the WWE pulls him from the tour. And now there is talk that the match at Extreme Rules between Bad News Barrett and Daniel Bryan for the Intercontinental title will be canceled. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian off Extreme Rules. According to WrestleZone.com, go check out their content right now. Here to give my view and my opinion, link source proof in the description. While we are still awaiting news on Daniel Bryan's health after being pulled from the ongoing European tour, the Intercontinental Champion status for WWE Extreme Rules on the WWE Network is now questionable. Brian was to defend the title against Bad News Barrett at the pay-per-view, set to take place on April 26th in Chicago, Illinois. Whether or not that match take place is completely dependent on what doctors find when he gets back from Europe. And th this this is horrible. You know, you know, someone made a joke in the comment section on WrestleZone, and I'm just paraphrasing what they said. Uh, this is just a gimmick from Daniel Bryan. He'll win the title at WrestleMania, and then he'll take some time off after WrestleMania. I, I mean, in a sadistic way, that was kind of funny, but not really. There's no hilarity to this, because you know what? When you're talking about a man's health, when you're talking about the stature of the Intercontinental title... When you are talking about the pure wrestling abilities and the skills, and to know that the WWE is pulling Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan isn't appearing on Raw and SmackDown, and if he is, he's not competing in matches. The last time we saw Daniel Bryan in a solid, solid effort, you have to go all the way back to WrestleMania in a ladder match, which probably wasn't the best set of circumstances to put Daniel Bryan in. Listen, uh, I, I, I have a bad, bad feeling about the subscribers and viewers. And I'm not saying this because I'm a Daniel Bryan hater. I'm not saying this because I'm not the biggest Daniel Bryan fan. Listen, I respect his work rate. I respect the fact that he's still willing to go in there, put his neck on the line, put his career on the line, knowing, you know, what comes with it, knowing what you're put, knowing what you're signing up for, knowing what you're going to put your body through, knowing that this is what Daniel Bryan loves. And I wouldn't want to see something taken away from a wrestler that's what he loves. That's what he's passionate about. Just like I like to do my thing here on YouTube.com, and I wouldn't want it taken away from me. I wouldn't want my health to deter me from what I'm doing here by giving my view and my opinion. This is what I love, and this is what Daniel Bryan loves. And um, to see his career go down like this, and listen, everyone's blaming Kane. Oh, had Kane not done those three tombstones, Daniel Bryan would, be, would not be in this predicament. No. Kane was very protective with those tombstones. Daniel Bryan said never really hit the, the table or the mat or, or in the ring. Kane was very um, protected on that. Kane knows what he's doing. This has nothing to do with Kane. This is just a very unfortunate set of circumstances. Subscribe.